I think it's gonna be real tasty, Earl. I can't wait to uh, get a little bit of that in my mouth. Always when we fight, I try to make you love to live with things forgotten. But it's you and me. Earl's gonna share with us now a recipe that came from his grandmother. My mama, yeah. My yeah. mama, yeah. I had a, I, I called my grandmother Granny. I called her a bitch behind her back. Well, that wasn't very nice. Well, she wasn't a very nice lady. Thank God, Greyhound, she's gone. So, what? Well, tell us how to make this. What's this called now? Well, Shelly? it's called a chicken shit. Casserole. Chicken shit. Well, that's an yes, interesting name for a dish. Now, I, I'm a city gal myself now. Mm -hmm. I've never been around a farm too much, and I'm not sure, quite sure, what chicken shit looks like. Does it kind of well, resemble a ch chicken it do, shit? It don't look like chicken shit, this dish here, but it's just because you got all this stuff combined and just a bunch of It's just a good name. Just put the shit. Wait, I like that. Yeah. Honey, quick and easy. First of all, your most important ingredient is your butter. But oh, butter. honey, butter is the reason I look the way I look. It's the front for the figure you see today. Gotta have crackers. I like crackers. Eat butter crackers. Yes. Yes, ma'am. That makes it all flavorful. You gotta have cream of chicken soup. Yes. And then your core ingredient, besides the butter, is the chicken. Well, hence the name. Right. And this looks very economical, doesn't it? It is. All this whole meal, and you can eat on this for four or five days, y'all. Is about three dollars and twenty eight cents. I clocked yeah. it. it three dollars well, and twenty eight cents. Well, honey, that's Well, you know that's very good yes, since we live in that where they ain't a decent living wage. Well, since when I got that new trailer, I had to start budgeting. You got a wide no, but they did double wide. I got a double wide. Well, you know when you walk wide. inside, you almost forget. You do, because you take two halves and you put them all together and just like one big. Well, one. I know. Get your tub of butter here. Let me take a little sip of this ma margarita. Tub of butter and get you a spoon mm. and a bowl because you gotta you gotta heat it up and melt it a little bit. I melt the butter, melt the butter. That's always good. I like. It's gotta the, adhere to like your crackers. The, mm, we like things melted and hot. Take like. you a dollar. That's one tablespoon. I like butter. <laughs> now move your butter off the side. It's gonna go there anyway. Two zero and press the start button. And that's what you do. Well, I love it when a man knows his way around the kitchen, Earl. I well, do. I think it's important. Because if a yeah. man knows his way around the kitchen, honey, he's good in other rooms in the house. You know what I mean. Woo! Okay. Well, I'm really meant to bash you like that, Earl, but I'm well, just saying, I know. know you're such a sweet anyway, young boy. Simple, you sweet young boy. Up. You get this heated up. So you want to put that in there? Pour this dish. right into the bottom of your 9 by 13 casserole. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you can use a smaller one, yeah. and two is just like that cocktail, that and drink two. you made earlier. If um, if you got more people, you can double or even triple well, the your recipe. What, what, honey, what, know what you're working with and, and prepare accordingly. Mm -hmm. All right, right, what's right, next? Right. What you're gonna want to do now is open up your crackers. 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 Now you can use regular crackers if you want to, but the butter ones are better. Yes, I mean, you could use saltines if you didn't have these on hand. Now that increases the price by about fifteen cents. Well, it does. So saltines would decrease it. Yeah, because if you think a, I think everyone has a saltine ready at hand, don't you think? If you're on a budget and you want to use saltines, well, saltines right are just ahead. really good. I've had to do it myself. You know, I've had. I made a meal off saltines back in the day in the hard years. And spread them around your dish there. Ooh. Hold on, let me get my sleeves rolled up. Roll, uh, roll up your sleeves and go to work. I like a man when they roll up your sleeves and go to work. Ooh. It's been a long time since I've been in my kitchen. I'm a divorcee, Suge, and I don't get out and cat, cat around like my, my friends do. Well, I'm so glad I he know. left you that Lincoln because I really like well. working on that car. That's a real beauty. Because you've got 37,000 miles on that thing and it's about 20 years old. I'm okay. surprised some folks hadn't been trying to buy that thing off of you. Well, I get what I, I would you be surprised every time I'm stopped at like, you know, a red light. I always get men, how much for it? Well, I think that they're talking about the car. I said, well, girl, it ain't for sale. You ought to sell that thing. <laughs> I thought about selling it, but you know, it just you're, ain't. You're to, you to. It just ain't worth, honey. It's, sometimes it ain't worth the trouble. It's nice. It's real nice. Get mm -hmm. your thumb in it. I know I'm gonna wipe. I make a, I make. I'm the messiest cook. But I think a messy meal, honey. If you make a mess, that's it's good to make a mess in all kinds of areas. Just pour it all in the middle and then just 
spray it on that. Just fill it on. Mama didn't do it like that. Well, you bless her heart. So you're gonna want to do. Yeah, it's now. Because you got your chicken in the can. In the it's can. a little compressed because you've been draining the chicken the water in the can. It's all lumpy here. I mean, you just want to work it at it a little bit and just work that chicken. Just work it on out. Work that chicken, Earl. And now what you're gonna do? Now if it falls in there, it's all right. It's all going the same place, but I always say. It's all going to the same place. You got your chicken on there on the top. Uh -huh. The next step is you're gonna take your leftover cream of chicken soup. It's in that can right there. This one? That one, yes Okay. Spoon that out. Here, use the good spoon. I always try to make things fit that don't, aren't supposed to go in there. If it don't fit, don't force it. Well, you can't force it inside the metal can if it won't fit. Now, once you get that all together, you're gonna pour that on top of well, this. Well, I ain't got nothing together. I guess this is together. But I ain't never made nothing called this, but I'm... Well, I didn't figure you'd make chicken shit casserole. Well, I have, well, I, well, you know, I just didn't know there's such now, a thing Now, like you were saying it. earlier, this is good for a potluck. Well, but... I mean, I guess if you want to take it to a, a, a covered dish at the church, you might want to change the name. I don't think they take... Yeah. The parson would take kindly if you bring up a chicken shit casserole. Yeah. I tried that at the Baptist church well, I was going to. What they did? They, they asked me to leave. Excommunicated you, did they? I had to go over to the Church of Christ. Oh, Lord. Now, you can put some paprika on there. Paprika, it's like pepper, but it's not. Oh, I love paprika. But it's a wonderful little uh, decoration, and it uh, doesn't have much flavor unless you use that Hungarian paprika. Uh, I went out with this Hungarian woman one time, and she cooked the stuff. She put lots of paprika on it. I bet she, she, she did. Them. Well, that was... Now you gotta watch it. When they get a little older, they, they, they tend to have a lot of facial hair. Those Eastern European women do not age gracefully. Mm -hmm. Look at Uncle Corbett. Just close her on it. Mm. Woo! Let it cook. I think it's gonna be real tasty, Earl. I can't wait to yes, uh, yes, get a little yes, bit of that in my mouth. I remember you used to come over when I was a little kid. Yeah. Uh, y'all used to go out in the garage and Daddy would show y'all his tools and stuff. What'd y'all do out there? Uh, talk about carburetors. I know limitations are on God knows they faced me all my life. Limitations? You got a book in the Bible? Laminations. Oh, you uh, said limitation. I said limitations, that's not well, laminations. No, laminations is not limitations. Laminations, ain't that when you put some plastic over some paper? Go back to Church of Christ, Earl. Oh, Earl, this just looks lovely and delicious. Dig Ladle. on into it. Ladle it out of there. And let's just get plate. a little bit on plate here. Make sure you get some chicken in there, because that's I, the I good part. That's, your, that's your core ingredient. I love that little um, paprika on the top, too. Makes it really yeah, appetizing. Yeah, paprika makes it good. It's pretty, too. Oh, it's gorgeous. See that on top? That mm. forms a little crust. Warms the cockles of your heart, Chug. I can see where the name comes from with those little specks of the color in there, so, woo! It only cost you $3.28. Economical, tasty, feeds the crowd. Uh, well, what else could you ask for? Well, Earl, I want to thank you so much for yes, joining us today on Ain't Home Without Us in One Way. Stick around, don't go too far, and join us next time. Bye, Shug! Bye, y'all. What's a cockle? Well, I don't know. That's what they always said, a cockle of your heart. I don't know. It's supposed to be there somewhere. It makes it like an artery or something. Is I don't that know. like a female rooster? <laughs> <laughs> Eat your chicken shit, Earl. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs>